Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover, and every kiss and every touch you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, down 138. You get the Nasdaq off 43, S&P's off 13. Gold contract up $30.80, trading at 1843 an ounce. You got silver up 75 cents, 24 dollars, 24 cents an ounce. Late sweet crude up a buck 16. $86.59 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up nine ticks, trading 127.21. The 30 year up 25 at 154.15 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 223 ticks, trading 95.503. Euro is at 113. Yen is at 114.25. And the British pound is at 136 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your war world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? What it got out here, folks, SPY, bottom line, what we have happening here is that you get to a lower low right now. Yesterday, what we did is that we did uh, 109 million shares. That 109 million shares is going into the swing point of 107. So you can see you got an expansion of volume as you're going into the swing. That being said, you get a lower low today, and you're going to have a contraction of volume. Now, the kick is going to be, can the SPY close over 455.31? Because if it doesn't, bottom line, what's going to be game here is 448. And 448 is the lowest swing, not the swing we're talking about that we that took out. Because if you, don't, if you can't get that, bottom line, it's going to build some cause and get down to that level. NDX 100, we take a look at the three Qs. What you have with the three Qs is this. Same type of setup. The difference is that the Qs have already broken the lowest swing. The lowest swing in the Qs is 369.31. We hit 368.16, and we have rejected lower price. So this is going to get really interesting to see exactly what the Qs are going to do coming into the close. Because if they can't hold price, guess what? That 350, what I'm looking at, is going to be game. My take is that we're going to get a bounce first. We'll see how this shakes out, though. But if the Qs don't, don't bounce today, guess what? You're going right to 350. Gold. Gold contract finally got a bid. The thing that's wild about this gold contract, man, is like we saw silver ha happen yesterday. So what happened is that the equities got smoked yesterday, the gold equities. The silver equities weren't that bad. The gold contract didn't get smoked. Bottom line, they rejected the lower price. at the, I think it was the uh, 18 yeah, 1804, they rejected lower price. Bottom line, we're taking out the consolidation. You have volume behind the move. Gold contract wants to run up here and get into this uh, 1881 area. Silver, same type of setup. What we have with silver. Silver, you know, it stopped moving yesterday. And we have with the silver market, it's always highly volatile. You're up 75 cents. You get a, you're blowing away the consolidations. And the silver's next leg is up there at 25.54. And if we go over to the dollar, what you're going to see inside the dollar, which, which is totally unusual here, you know, it's backing down, but it's not backing down that much. Now, what the dollar did do, and this is like a classic, it goes, when you break down, so the dollar, the dollar was building cars since Thanksgiving, going back and forth at highs. It looked to me like it wanted to break. It did break. And when you break down, it's just like, it's like when you break topside. When you break topside, it loves coming back out to the, to the breakout area. When you break downtown, it loves the doing the same thing. So we'll see if that was exactly what that was doing yesterday. Because it came right up to ice, gave it up. Today, it's really not doing much. It's, it's down 221, but that doesn't mean a lot. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. Note and bond market. They're both on ABC structures on the way down. Bottom line, we'll see how this baby shakes out. Uh, it broke the B point. The B point inside of the 10 year was 127.30, or 127.20 right now. And if we take a look at the USH, we take a look at the 30 year, you're gonna see the same type of setup. 
We, we blew away those lows, had volume behind the move. You know, we'll see whether this, this is going to er turn into a, a complex ABC structure. And what that means is that if it's a complex ABC structure, it means that it can go up past the B point again. You'll have light volume as you go up. Then it gives it up and gives it up in spades again. XAUHUI. There's big action out here. There's no doubt. And it looks like <laughs> the thing is crazy, man. You know, I've been doing this a long time and I've seen these moves. But when this happens, it's like, okay, what lights it on fire? Okay, I mean, you don't know. You don't know. What, and what is really intriguing is this. And is that, well, first of all, let's do the XAU. XA is up $9.65, blowing away the consolidation. Next move up here gets you 144. That's in the XAU. And the Gold Bugs Index, what do you have? Same type of setup. Gold Bugs Index is up $18.27. And that is going after the 280. Now, let me show you something, though, because this is what's really intriguing. And this just very well, we might see a huge amount of follow through. And the reason being, we talked about a lot of these gold stocks yesterday. If you look at Anglo Ashante, and I own these, okay, bottom line, what you're going to see is that you came downtown yesterday. Now, watch this. You came downtown. You had an expansion of volume, 5.7 million. You're going into the swing. It's like, oh, man, are you going to break down again? Okay, that's the bottom line. You're going to break down. Bottom line, when you get large moves inside of the gold market, what I've seen so many times, folks, and it's, it's, it's wicked, there's no doubt, is that before you go, the bottom line is that they smoke these things, and then it's like, okay, then you take off. And, you know, Going home last night wasn't as cool as going home tonight. I can tell you that. <laughs> but you get the gist of it. And it wasn't, it wasn't just because they moved a couple dollars. It was because of an expansion of volume. But simultaneously in my own head, I was saying, you know what, man? This just might be the final shakeout before these things really take off. And we'll see whether that's it. Because they all did it. They all did it. You know, they had some juice behind the move. And then guess what? They take off like a rocket ship. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, down 83. NASDAQ is down 8. S&P's off 5. We'll come right back.